What's up YouTube? Uh, Blaze Templar here with a new video and it's getting very it's still very difficult for me to actually get that correct. Anyway, this is episode 6 and as I get started just wanted to mention that I do have some Pokemon battles if you're wondering about that. I just haven't gotten them uploaded because I have to set up a different tripod for those and uh, it takes a lot of effort to set up these tripods. Um, so yeah, it does take its efforts. Anyway, let's just get started with the episode instead of rambling. And I'm going to get to my customary seat. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Nice sword. Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? That is really Yuna nice of them. came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Yay. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. If you say so. Except she needs to drop some of that luggage. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Yep. Waka is telling the truth. He okay, might be. Off we go. He might be a dunce, but at the same time, he's not a bad sort. So yeah. And did I misplace the controller again? I'm. I kind of lose things. That's something I gotta work on. <sighs> oh, found it. <laughs> found it. It's ex actually right next to my other tripod that I just mentioned. That's kind of funny, actually. Here comes one now. Fiends! Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? No, you hit it with your ball. Okay, fine, I'll cut it down. No problem. You're not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. Yeah. A flyer, my kind of customer. What time? Get out of here, birdie. Yay! We leveled. Of course, levels in this game aren't really something you get as excited about because you have to move across the sphere grid. And that takes a little bit more, but hey, we got a little stronger, so that's something. Hmm. Now, we could go this way. Or we could go this way. We could teach Waka Lancet, but it's not really that fantastic of a skill. So, especially since he can't learn like this blue magic stuff that Kamari learns. So we're just going to get him a little more accurate. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I love the fact that in this version you can get black magic quicker with some characters. Anyway, let's keep moving. Run, little Titus, run! Over oh, the fields everywhere! <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about, sorry. That looks like trouble. Trouble? Ha, watch this! It's just a gummy poof ball. Magic can beat them down. We gotta use magic of the element they do like. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Luke, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Magic and fiends have properties called elements. 
there are four elements. Fire, ice, lightning, and water. Water and ice are opposed, as are lightning and water. Spells of ice work well against fire beams. And ice beams are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Burn, baby! Wait, no. It's a water fiend, which means lightning. Shocking, isn't it? Although, technically speaking, you can beat down a fiend like that with just enough hits. But why waste your time doing that? Mr. Mog! Well, Magic Mog. And get the Rod of Wisdom equipped. Uh, I think that's all of our new equipment, so that helps. So we're looking a little better now. That's good. That Rod of Wisdom may not be essential, but it, it's a nice little item to get. That's why I took the time in Mako, er, Makalanya. The Sade Temple. Let's get going, man. Nope. We're gonna wait. Huh? Why? Boo. Are you ready? <laughs> Awkward. What's going on? Does anyone feel like Titus is the third wheel here? an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. We gonna stare at it, or should we respect their customs? Ah, uh, there's no reason to upset people. We'll, we'll respect their customs. At least for now. That should do it. I'm suspicious, yo. I am suspicious. Okay, I'll be quiet. Sorry. <laughs> and... There is a safe sphere up there, if you can see it, on the top corner, right up there, on top of the building thing. But let's just chill. I mean, it's not like there's anything serious going on. Might as well just walk over. Huh. Killer lion! Someone looks hungry. And a little angry. Okay, a lot angry. Great, now the lions are armed with halberds. As if things weren't bad enough as it was. It turns out you can stack up to five of those, so that's good news for me. We're not going to stack all five, but we will stack a couple. Just to get some good damage off. Ah, snap. Limit break. Oh, sorry. Overdrive. Get down. That's enough. Grr. What's with that guy? Good question. Kimari Ronso. Of the Ronso tribe, he's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. He's another Yuna's guardian. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. <sighs> Interesting. And why won't you level again? 
Oh well. No, I don't want spear grade. One other thing I noticed about this remaster that I really like is the fact there's way more equipment. Um, that may seem like a minor thing, but my word, Lulu, for example, in the original version I played, she had like no equipment whatsoever. Okay, she had a couple different dolls, but not really a lot. Oh, hello. Let our summoner show us what she's made of. Alright, L1, we're gonna swap Titus out for Yuna. Your first real battle. Let's see some style. Show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. We can use the summon command to bring out Aeons, and guess what? We're gonna do just that. Because we don't really have a choice. There is a little bit of hand-holding in this game, but it's not as bad as a lot of our seen and played. And yes, Veil 4 has 725 HP. Sonic wins! Slows down your opponent. Missed. It also costs no MP. So we're just going to spam it, because it's effective, powerful, etc. Well, kind of powerful. The fact we can just spam it over and over again makes it worth it, though. Spam it always! Now that's what I call a beatdown. And we'll learn about shield and boost later, but I don't need them right now because spam it. And that's it. That is a very dead flyer. And a bright arm man. Random drops help. And yes, there's a safe sphere down there. Well then. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say good night, Blue. You're blind. You're blind, I tell you, you're blind. Unfortunately, Waka has paltry MP. And now I just have to zap this thing and strike it until it dies. Basically. 
And I think the darkness wore off, so... I need to deal with that. Get dark again. Oh, I guess you can die too. That works for me. And the switch hitter. Interesting. Waka, they like arming you, don't they? I mean, I can't complain. Getting an attack boost with Waka is nothing to sneer at. I used to think Waka was one of the lighter hitters in the game. His only real use being hitting flyers, but I've learned. I've learned. Oh, excuse me. Believe it or not, I think what I'm going to end up doing is first going to extract mana, and then... Uh, let's see. Going back down. Yeah. Uh, I believe... Yeah, I need to go that way after extract mana. It's a good skill to get. There we go. Got a speed speed spear used. Blah blah blah. I know I am like the best person for talking like ever. So d don't mind my rambling when I can't speak, please. I do appreciate it and thank you. Uh, we want to go down this way, not get caught, and straight south. Yeah, we're headed back towards the beach. Alright. And around you. Hi, Yuna. Bye, Yuna. Oh, wait. No, we actually want to go back this way because there should be somebody... No, no. What am I talking about? They already walked off. That's okay. This still works, alright. Come back soon, yeah? Don't forget me, okay? Come on. Let me talk to this person. Fine. Here's a gift. Yay, a seeker's ring. Come on, lady. Would you... Ah. I swear. Hey. There we go. So many things I want to tell her, but seeing her smiling, I can't say anything. Sea is dangerous, so give her this. And a goodbye gift of 400 gil. And a remedy. There we go. We're good to go now. That's why you want to talk to NPCs. Apparently they're loaded. And they're nice enough to give you some of their stuff. Money, armor, equipment, items. <laughs> Cute kid. She's very graceful when it comes to that. Uh, if you're gonna leave, you gotta kinda pull that ramp off. Ah, uh, whatever. Game logic. It'll magically tell disappear when it needs to, so... We're good. We're good. And we're probably already at a point that I really, really should be saving. And I think I'll do that and call that episode 6. Um... I've been trying to keep it around the 20, 25 minute mark, uh, so yeah. Fight him! Get those goggles! Or er, binoculars, not goggles. Goggles go on your 
face and wear them. That is very rude, Titus. Bad Titus. I wouldn't suggest that. Uh, no, no, no. Bad Titus. Bad, bad. Oh, boy. I'd be getting annoyed with some random guy stealing my binoculars like this. Hey now. <laughs> you know, if I was that guy, I would just be like, shove right into the ocean. I swear, I would so shove him into the ocean. Titus, I mean. But before we do save, there is one thing we can Ooh, grab. Oh, yeah. Yeah, filthy, filthy. This won't sell. All me name's not a walker. Your name's not a walker. <laughs> Don't look like you got much money either. More than you. I've no business with you. Add me way. Who do you think you are? A walker of the twenty third. Merchant extraordinaire. A walker. A walker the who? Don't know me. Well, not many do. Not yet. Merchant extraordinary, yet no one knows him. <laughs> Baboon. Uh, I believe it's this room. The power room. What, what the heck is that? Oh, that looks like a bunch of old cars. What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? Obviously. What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Hmm. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. Yup. If I recall, there we go. Dell bed primer. I love that theme. Uh, we're gonna get to the save point now. Like so. And we're gonna call this an episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and see you in episode 7.